What's up guys, my name is Bubbleplay, welcome to another episode of NHL 15 Hot Roulette. Yeah, we are still in Division 8, by the way, you can see one of the changes that EA added to the game recently is that a record of uh, your opponent is not shown in the beginning of the game, and I think this is the right move, because a lot of times people were just, you know, quitting after, you know, seeing that you have a great record. So, yeah, I'm always curious what kind of record my opponent has, but and I will not quit, whatever it is. Uh, but for some people, yeah, it was a bad thing. If I understood it correctly, EA released uh, another tuner set uh, right after the first one. Maybe it was on for a couple days, so they updated it. And a lot of people told me, and I read it on the... NHL Reddit that a lot of people are telling that game uh, play became much smoother with this new update and once again I will ask you guys what you think about the newest one you know the one that were, was released with online team play and all and the draft so it was the big patch and there was some tweaks to gameplay as well playing defense oh it was a nice cross crease but cross creases are not really working that well you need to set them up much more careful for them to work not like that not with the people in your passing lane this is i don't know how to make cross cruises with the people in your passing lane i really don't okay this is the kind of cross crease that's working whoa and we put it on the top shelf brody with the nice snipe Okay, only five seconds left. We're still up two to nothing, and he tries to go for another, another cross crease, but we stop it. Yeah, this looks like a domination to me. To be honest, guys, I feel a little a little bit confused about NHL 15 in the moment, because while you are in divisions from two to uh, from ten to two, everything is really oh, and we put one in, but. Ref says no. Okay, let's see what... Well, Ref will be looking at it. I will say whatever I want. So, mm, in divisions from 10 to 2, game plays pretty nicely. I already covered it in the previous video, so I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself. But in division 1, things get really, really, really different. And to be honest, uh, no goal. Okay, it rarely happens. So... Yeah, nice to see a uh, bad goal for, for a change. We're still up to do nothing. So, what I was saying, in Division 1 you need really specific set of skills to be successful. And game doesn't really reward people who play in smart hockey, in advanced hockey. Uh, game rewards those who can do a protect puck good, who can snipe uh, good who can uh, stay in the middle um, while defending, uh, that type of things. And, of course, if you want to succeed, what's the fun in playing if you don't want to win everyone? This is just ridiculous. This is a competitive game. Uh, of course, the only thing that you kind of can do is to try and learn those things, try to get better. And I really hate it. I really hate the fact that uh, instead of, you know, uh, learning to play smarter, like I always try to do, I need to play, you know, in a dumber hockey. And it really breaks my heart and I, I really don't know what to do. I'm really confused. I decided to take a little time off from Division 1, then try it again and then decide. I don't know. It's really not as much fun as it was in the previous years. Even, you know, Division 1. In NHL 14 it was a blast. It was those hard competitive games you could have played, uh, you know, tight defense. You could have waited for your chance. Uh, it was really hard. I was losing a lot, but it was fun. Here, I see that a person that is much, you know, less skilled than me, but the person who can protect puck better and who, you know, tries the same shot every attack. Well, he is better than me, and. It's not like I have a problem with my ego or something, but it's just it's just not right. Game is not rewarding you for being a truly good player, and this is basically the my main complaint. Short to Chimera, five seconds left. Can he do something? Backhand? No, it's not going in. 
Her hand. Whoa, to my. Oh, I don't know who it was. Number 11. It was McGinn, our newest acquisition, and he puts one in. Oh, nice job. Welcome to the team. Oh. Cross crease, and it goes in in the five hole. Is it just me or goalies? They feel a little bit different, and five hole goals are you know happening more often in this game in particular. And I don't know what else, but it kind of feels that they acting a little bit differently, maybe a little slower, which is a good thing at this point. Oh, somebody got killed. Okay, goes in. Oh, goes to Petro already. Yeah, the what? <sighs> Damn goalie. Whoa. Oh, Brody took the puck, goes on the breakaway and misses the net. He was just intimidated by Nabokov and all his saves. Those were just crazy today. Okay, okay. Whoa, and we put the fifth in. Who is that? Oh, this is Crombean. He scores so many goals for us. If you have like, I don't know how many, 300 pucks by yourself, BJ Crombean. He is a beast. And this will be it. Yeah, 5 nothing. Mm, nice comeback from really, really atrocious game in the previous episode. So yeah, this is actually nice. And we maintain our shutout. Yeah, 26, 4 uh, shots short to 30. But uh, yeah, still good. He has 6, so we will be picking up player number 6. I think we need a good right D. So this is who we'll be picking up. Uh, price range is by now minimum is 1000 because we won one game so one game winning streak is intact and yeah player number six let's pick him up one two three four five six this is actually a nice pickup we improved our D Tyler Myers nice here is the cheapest one 10k basically I think I wanted to try him. He's only 85 overall this year, but uh, he's always big, so probably he's still good. And I think he's a little faster than the year before, so I'm pretty excited to try him out. So here is our team. I think that the first five, first six players look really sexy. Yeah, we still have Cam Ward in the net because uh, Ben Bishop, he was double fatigued, so even after the win, he still have one fatigue in him, so we will give Cam Ward another game. But yeah, other than that, teams look pretty good, so I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Another thing, I'm pretty sure, and it kind of feels right away, that menus got a little bit faster, and this is kind of, it makes it feel uh, much more comfortable than before. So if it was a big issue for you, <laughs> check it out. It's much faster now. Yeah, it was a big issue for me actually. That's why I'm saying about that. I really hated those slow, slow, unresponsive menus. So I'm happy that they fixed them. So yeah, leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you still haven't. We are about to hit 400 subscribers. It might not sound like a lot, but it's a big deal to me. And I thank each and every one of you guys especially those of you who really communicate with me uh, in the comments. I really, really love it. So please leave a comment if you feel like it. Also follow me on Twitter. I try to use it more now. And uh, I will see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.